Otaku Cafe is San Antonio's largest anime store and Japanese arcade. Today we show you why it's a welcoming spot for everyone. with Rick Heddle, one of the owners here at Otaku Cafe. Well, thank you for having me. Thanks for coming. This is such a cool place. Now, for those who have not been, tell me about what the experience is like when you walk in here. Okay, when you walk in here, it's gonna be like being at an anime convention but condensed into a building. Especially if you've been to San Japan, it's like that but smaller, in a more comfortable environment where you can sit down and hang out. Got it, okay, and this is such a fun vibe in here. You and your best friend started this in 2015, right? So now you've, you've moved to this location. Let people know where you're located. We're yeah. on Hebner and Bandera, right where they intersect. At 7022 Bandera. And what's the reaction when people come in here? Because I'm sure you oh, get man. a lot of fans of anime, yeah. but also there's an arcade back there. So Usually they've been drawn in because they see the big word, it says anime or arcade on the outside. Uh -huh. And then they wonder in like, what is this? And it's usually big eyes. Yes. And then we get a lot of exploration, which is great. Yes, and, and just to clarify, this they don't sell tacos here. You said you had a few people that Otaku, would come not otaku. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Now the things that I'm seeing here, people can actually purchase, correct? Absolutely. So lots of things to- Except the wall art, that's the stuff we like. Uh, what, so what can they find when they come in here? Well, they can find plushies, figures, little tiny trinkets, things that are called blind boxes that really get popular because they're just like a little uh, small thing. I don't know what's inside this box. What is in this box? It's going to be cute. Okay. Or figures or models, which is one of the biggest things we sell now. Models. Okay, yeah. I'll have to take a look at that. Oh, and yeah. who is this behind you? Because you said this is an iconic one. Samus. Samus. The most iconic lady in gaming history. She's like the first female hero of gaming. I'm learning something new. My new hero here. Now the arcade's really cool because that is a different type of setup. Can you Absolutely. talk to me about that? It's a Japanese arcade game, so you're not gonna be standing up for the most part. You're sitting, sitting down, playing fighting games. If you're standing, it's probably because you're playing a music game or a game where you're gonna be playing the drums or dancing. So you can come here, you can play games, but you can also take in all the anime and people with similar interests will obviously be here. Oh, so you can kind of all come together, right? We're an all encompassing nerd house, but <laughs> okay. it's very neat. We like to have all nerds. Otaku is is Japanese for a nerd, but sort of like a okay. harder core nerd that most people are like, ooh, that's a nerd. <laughs> yeah, but we took over the word. Hey, I love that. I love mm -hmm. that. And then uh, you guys will also be taking your arcade to San Japan, right? Absolutely. We'll so be people at San can Japan find you. With everything back there. Hey, anything else you want to add about the experience here and why people should come check it out? It's a place that is for community. So if you've been looking for somebody else to talk anime with, this is the place. All right, Rick, I found something for my daughter, Juji, something for my son, Rai Rai, but what is this? I see you have some snacks here, too, oh, that absolutely. I've never seen. Tell me about what you have here. Otaku Cafe, this is the cafe portion of it all. We've got foods, snacks, nothing really robust, just really snacky treats, salty, sweet, and drinks to wash it all down, especially after playing in the arcade. Yeah. If you're looking for something that is gonna be Really refreshing CC lemon, love it. Or boba tea, because everybody loves boba. Or stick with the most ubiquitous drink in all of anime, ramen. This one right here, which okay. Is like just a sweet, sweet water with carbonation. And it's very popular, right? You told Super me. Super duper popular. Oh. And then for snacks, you said this one's more popular right here, right? Absolutely. Takoyaki balls. It's like the Funyuns version of a real, actual Japanese food. But it's fun. I really love it. And a Gretzko wasabi peas, because who doesn't like spicy peas? And this one, which I love and have made fun of constantly by my own employees for, it's like french fries with ketchup on it, but not soggy. What? French fries with ketchup? Okay, I'll take that, Rick. Okay, to the arcade, shall we go? Celebrate San Antonio with us on YouTube. Yeah, all of your favorite DIY videos, food, drinks, tips, and tricks. If you've seen it here, it's on the SA Live YouTube channel. Just search KSAT SA Live on YouTube and like, subscribe, and ring the bell.